Good evening, Valley Middle. Tonight we're going to work on determining whether two ratios are equivalent or not. But as always, let's start with our trivia question for the day. Uh, just for fun, name two of the three best selling candy bars in the United States. Betcha. I betcha if you think hard enough, you can come up with a couple of them. All right. Officially, tonight's target is 6.1a. I can determine whether two ratios are equivalent. Let's do this thing. Well, I have two sons, Connor and Casey, and they're a little bit competitive, and they're always trying to kind of outmaneuver one another. So here's the question about those two. My son Connor is pretty clever. He set up the following ratios for doing the dinner dishes. Connor, 10 to 30. Casey, 2 to 5. Compare these two ratios. Are they equivalent? Well, 2 to 5, 10 to 30. Looks like this guy's doing a lot more, Connor, because, you know, it's 10 to 30. But you really can't just base it upon judgment. You really need to s express those ratios in simplest form and try to compare them that way. So I did that. Um, 2 to 5 is in simplest form. 10 to 30, if I divide both sides by 10, I get to 1 to 3. Well, it's still kind of hard to compare. So let's think about the number of times each of them would do the dishes in 15 days. So in 15 days, that would be three cycles of this. So that would be six times in 15 days. And Connor, it would be five, because there's only his is a one to three. So if we do the same thing to both sides of the ratio, multiply by five here, multiply by five here, we'd have five to 15. Well, we see that Connor's doing a little bit less. He's doing 5 to 15 when we compare those ratios, and Casey's doing it 6 to 15. So Connor's trying to outmaneuver his brother on this one. This is not fair. These ratios are not equivalent. All right, our target tonight is going to be a little bit simpler than our problem. All we're going to need to do is determine whether or not two ratios are equal or not. Let's take a look at uh, a couple of vocabulary words. First of all, a ratio. A comparison between two quantities, okay? And then comparing ratios. That's looking at those two different ratios to see if they're equal or not, okay? There's a simple way we can do this. Let's take a look at it. Two easy steps in it. First of all, we need to stack the ratios, and then we compare across products. So here's the problem. Are the ratios 25 to 75 and 2 to 6 equal? Remember, you can express ratios with a colon or the word 2. So I stacked my ratios, 25 to 75, and 2 to 6. Now I just multiply across and compare. 2 to 75, 2 times 75 up here is 150, and 25 times 6, that's 150. If these two products are equal, the ratios are equal. So these two ratios are equal, all right? Let's try another problem together, and then I'm going to cut you loose and make you work a little bit tonight. Are the ratios 15 to 60 and 2 parts to 8 parts equal? All right, follow the steps. Step 1, stack the ratios. So I've got 15 to 60, and I've got 2 to 8. And it really doesn't matter which one you put first. Just make sure they're stacked up. Next, compare the cross products. So multiply across here. 2 times 60, that gives me 120, and 15 times 8 equals 120. Now you're going to be able to use your calculator on this target, so this should be really straightforward and easy for everyone. 120 and 120 are equal, so once again, these two ratios are equal or equivalent. All right? I think it's time for you to try one. All right, go ahead and give this one an example, or give this um, question a shot. Go. All right, are 2 to 5 and 4 to 10 equal? Let's see if your work matches mine. I stacked them, 2 to 5, 4 to 10. I compared the cross products. 4 times 5 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. Sweet! I love it when a plan comes together. All right, try another one. Did you really stop the video? Go back, pause, do this problem. All right, let's see how you did. Are the ratios 5 to 30 and 10 to 20 equal? Well, stack the ratios, 5 to 30, 10 to 20, and let's compare the cross products. 10 times 30, that's 300. 5 times 20, 100. <coughs> Survey says not equal. All right, you got one more opportunity to impress me tonight. All right, go ahead and pause and try to compare these two ratios. Go.
All right, let's see how you did. Stack them, 3 to 2, 6 to 10. Compare cross products, 6 times 2 is 12, 3 times 10, 30. Not equal. I kind of knew that was coming too, didn't you? Did you look how this one was 3 to 2? We had a larger number on this side of the ratio, and then this is 6 to 10. So I, I was kind of thinking that wasn't going to work out the way I planned. All right, time for the ticket to the show. Here you go. Determine if these two ratios are equal. You done writing yet? All right, let's move on. See the top three candy bars. Uh, survey says, I'm into game show talk tonight for some reason. M&Ms, you could have probably predicted, and I believe it's the plain ones. Hershey's milk chocolate, no nuts. And Reese's peanut butter cups. Love them all. Even though I think I prefer the new pretzel M&Ms, if I had to choose. All right, have a great evening. Thanks for watching.